What is up, YouTube fam? I hope you are doing grand today. As you can see, I've got my plus four out here. And as we all know, it's a uh, apparently a fire hazard, so they say. I've never had any problem with mine. However, I did uh, reach out to Chidi and I just said, you know, basically, if you could just send me the part, I greatly appreciate it. Um, I'd rather just be safe than, uh, you know, sorry, just in case I'm ever doing something out of the house and something happens. So they graciously and very quickly expedited me this kit to repair it uh, from China. It took about three days. DHL delivery. And in the kit, you get your wiring diagram to show you how the old one went in as opposed to the new relay and also the difference is uh, basically here you have very thin wiring which wasn't handling the amperage properly where here they have the appropriate gauge copper to handle the amperage that's uh, higher on 120 volt in the kit you do get a couple screwdrivers um, hex drivers and an allen key to do the repair you get uh, four screws you get the uh, relay itself and uh, the cover for the relay to install on there so we're going to put that in today while i have this uh, unit out on my kitchen table area i had to make a space because the room you guys normally see, I can't get in there um, to do it. So I do know that and looking at some of the stuff that you have to take off this cover to remove some screws up here and whatnot, which I kind of hate that I have to do that, but nonetheless has to be done. So uh, they do send you some stuff. I'm going to use my trusty DeWalt here. And we're just going to kind of go through this. I didn't even see what size this was. Uh, which probably would have been the smarter thing to do. And to make sure that I even grabbed the right uh, set of bits. That also would have been intelligent to do. But you know, we're flying by the seat of our pants today. Um, and it's also very possible that... Uh, yeah. That would be the... Uh, commonplace thing that that bit size I actually don't have in this little kit but I think I got something that'll work so we'll go ahead and roll with it down here And they got all these screws in this back you've got to take off as well. Where this fan is, there's a little cable. You can just unplug it from that and set it to the side. forgot to take my gotta separate that too this is for your poop shoot then they said they want you to go in there and Give it the old Yankarooski. 
the old college try, if you will. There it was, folks. Oh, God knows. Note to self. Right here. That little clip thing. You're supposed to push it out. Well, it don't push out too well for me. But nonetheless, it's just plastic. And I don't really care. Only concern with my house not burning down. Then you've got, you know, all your other things going on back here. And uh, what I'm going to do to give you all a better view is just kind of show you that. Okay. And it's my understanding that uh our tool or our thing is gonna go into here if that's my understanding again doing this kind of on a whim but we'll find out if it's not we'll close it up and Take something else off. <laughs> yeah, see, so there's our old board right there. Um this top red wire and top blue wire go to the same spot. It's going to be these ones over here that are going to change. Instead of it going red, black, and yellow, it's going to be yellow, red, and, and black. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, loosen this stuff up and get this board off of here. Go ahead and throw the chitty part in there. This is the first time I've ever really taken apart a 3D printer. I've really never had the uh, need to, to this level, but it's pretty cool, you know, to see how they do this stuff. This little cover right here just kind of flips up and then you can get the old Phillips bit and take these wires off. wires are off and now we have to take off the so each screw has a set of wires or a little screw in it then you've got these one here and one right here and one right here we've got three And uh, let you see what that looks like. This is the old unit right here. 
and this is the new unit these here are what are supposedly getting smoked which I can see that is some very thin copper and now they bumped it up with this heat sink and they put thicker copper around there in case you want to know or you want to uh, change it all change it out yourself that's what you're going with and uh, we'll go ahead and set this old one to the side here and we'll go ahead and mount the new one really not sure why they give you these plastic things and all that when they come with the new one but I digress I don't care I just want my friend to work and just so you know I as well can't barely see what I'm doing without my little light so don't feel left out but I am glad that they, they, they wanted to take care of this for us um, like I'm gonna say when it gets to what did I do with the third one I said I wasn't going to lose it, and what I do? I lost it. <laughs> Kakaramurka. Well, I'm kind of baffled by, by that. What did I just do with it? Ah, it's stuck on the board. Here all day, folks. Here all day. Let's get her done now. That way we have a nice solid and I'm doing this the reason I didn't want to watch the video on this and do it because I've never done this and anybody that's doing this repair has never done this so you can see from my mistakes what not to do and then do it uh, better you know that's the only thing I could see Now we're going to do set these ones over here for a minute. And what I'm going to do is tuck these wires over. Because we got our red and our blue. And let's go ahead and get our Phelps back on there. And we'll go ahead and do that. So right here. Take this off. Thank God that has a magnet, a little bit of magnetization. And the red wire is on the left. Blue wire is on the right. And then make sure you cover your close your plastic and then we'll just take our cables and just tuck them down then we'll open this up we'll just stick our chart right there so we see what we got and we know we're gonna do yellow red black now so let's get our yellow wire um our little cover back over this Thing to watch out for a live wire so we'll go ahead and do that now just kind of trying to do this
and we'll take this one, take these, and you can throw your card away and just set this to the side. Might be educational for something later. You never know. And now we got everything back in there. So at this point, we'll go ahead and slap the back cover on. This thing is ac actually super, super tough to get off. I'm So now you can see that we'll go ahead and you can see right down in here, um, right down in there, that's where this fan cable plugs in. And you'll just secure it back into there. And then you can take this and put it right there. And then these uh, here. Three, four, five. Got one missing. Six. Take these and just put All right, and we'll just tilt this back down like so. And we'll get our thing over here. not too bad of a repair hoping then this thing will be good to go so if you have any questions on the repair feel free to put them in the comments below and uh, thanks for being the best part of the channel and we will see you on the next one